Okay, so this tutorial is requested by one of my subscriber. He watch uh, another channel and uh, see the uh, the image effect like this. So actually, I don't know how to call this uh, to this video effect. Uh, maybe sliding image or sliding uh, image series or something like that. Uh, by the way, uh, it took me an hour to figure out what the best solution to create this effect in Filmora 10. And you know that we have also other program like Photoshop. Uh, we can create a very long image like this. Uh, it is easier to create this long image uh, in Photoshop and then bring it uh, to Filmora. And we just uh, need to add some animation keyframe. Uh, by the way, I don't like to use uh, other software. Uh, just uh, one software at a time. So uh, I'm going to show you how to to create this effect, a uh, sliding image in Filmora 10. Okay, so and here's my example timelines. Uh, as you can see here, we have a white background. So I, I just want to have a white background to just uh, to add a, a white line uh, across the, the image because uh, normally when I create this image, it will have uh, this line. Uh, this is a white line. This is another. Uh, but uh, at the uh, on the left and on the right of the image, uh, it doesn't have the light. So uh, I just want to add a background, uh, a white background, so it will uh, fill up with the light here. Uh, let's play this one. So as you can see here, we have some image. Uh, this one is the first, and this is the second. And we have some animation keyframe here. So that uh, the point here is uh, that we have all the image uh, has the same had the same duration, the same duration, and uh, they're starting at the same position also. And the animation keyframe is, is exactly the same. So the speed of the animation is exactly the same uh, to create the rolling image like this okay and on top here we have a shadow shadow a uh, overlay and uh, it doesn't matter you don't want to you you don't need to add this one but i think it's uh, uh, interesting to add more more overlay to this uh, image sequence okay so let's delete everything uh, let's start with uh, creating new image because uh, you see that uh, at the, the example uh, there's a rolling image uh, on the screen and uh, the image has different size so I found out that uh, the, the best way to create an image like that is to go to a split screen template in uh, Filmora 10 so you see here we have many templates and we can use this one uh, three image on the screen or this one uh, six image on the screen so I'm going to give you an example by creating a three image um, a split screen uh, first one let's drag and drop it onto a timeline we don't need to do anything with this split screen just drag and drop our image or uh, into this area okay uh, so I'm going to do this one for example uh, align it uh, here and this one uh, the, this is the first one and here for example and this one uh, is the third one so now uh, we have just created uh, this split screen right and uh, being mentioned that we can change the border if you want to change the border of the uh, split screen to different color then we need a different background color by the way we just need to take a snapshot of this image uh, okay to take a snapshot you need to uh, click here uh, take a snapshot uh, then click here to take a snapshot uh, to create a, a split screen snapshot in Filmora 10 okay so now we have the first snapshot should you do the same with uh, all other image for example I, I create some snapshot here uh, when we have uh, this one one two three and uh, this one four five uh, six so we have all the snapshot uh, of the split screen so the next thing uh, we go down uh, we can delete uh, the split screen template here uh, the first uh, we need to add a background okay so the background we go to sample color at the media tab and then use white or you can use other if you want uh, like this we can create a, about 30 seconds or something like that uh, and we are going to lock this track uh, because we don't want to uh, change anything here uh, the next thing uh, we go to our folder and we use the first snapshot uh, we bring it down onto the timeline and now we we are going to change the duration of this one go to duration and then we can change it to 50 seconds 
15 seconds uh, for the first one and this is just a 15 second image nothing here right and now the next thing uh, we want to do is to move it uh, out of the frame so uh, we are going to uh, just uh, click on the window here and then move it out of the frame because we want to move the image from uh, right to left right and we are going to put it down here so now well, we want more uh, so we're going to uh, drag and drop more split screen uh, template or split screen uh, snapshot onto the timeline the snapshot that you created with uh, with a split screen uh, template so we have three images so just make sure that they have the same duration uh, to do that we can just uh, highlight all of them and uh, check the duration here we can change it to 15 seconds and then click OK so now they have the same duration uh, but we want to have the same position also so I'm going to right click here to copy this effect and then I'm going to paste to this one paste the effect so, and now they are the, at the same position outside the screen so to view uh, to uh, to see them uh, we can uh, just uh, change the the zoom level of the preview window like uh, 10 percent so we have all the image uh, is here right uh, okay I'm sorry I just uh, add a keyframe for this one so we have all the image outside and we need uh, to move them uh, inside here uh, for the first one for example at this uh, image I want to add a keyframe two keyframe for this image and move them uh, move it from the right to the left so we are going to hide this one uh, the the first and the second now we're going to uh, the, the beginning of this image we are going to add uh, one keyframe for it and we move some frame forward like and then we adjust the position so we need to adjust it to this position right okay so this position uh, should be right and we also move this keyframe to the end of the the image okay so uh, let's preview this first image first uh, let's see the animation uh, how is the speed and uh, how it looked okay let's play it all right so, so as you can see that the the image is moving from the, the right to the left uh, of the screen so we can uh, play uh, move this playhead to see the animation uh, for example at this position uh, at this position I want to uh, I want the second image uh, sorry just a little bit adjustment okay so at this position I want uh, the second image to uh, start playing so start rolling from the right to the left so we are going to unhide this one and unlock it uh, too so this is the first one and uh, we want it to start uh, start the animation uh, from this position so we just uh, select it on the timeline and then we move it to this playhead position and also add two animation keyframe uh, for this image uh, so we are going to add the first one and we also move to the uh, the end of the the end of the image and then adjust the position so we want to adjust the position to this position uh, make sure that you have the the same position with the uh, the first one okay so I think uh, at this position should be okay now we need to play uh, both image uh, to see if the anim animation uh, fit together okay uh, let's play it and we can adjust uh, right now Okay, and now we need to uh, repeat the process with the third image on the timeline. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's open it and then move it to this position. And then add an animation keyframe for it. And then move it to this position and then adjust the position. So just uh, make sure it move all the way to the left of the timeline uh, of the review window okay so at this position uh, so you can see here that the position number minus three 385 okay so let's uh, go back here to the uh, to this one uh, we can check the the keyframe on the second image 
387 so it is a little bit different and another keyframe here for the first image because they should have the same position all the time so 387 is the correct number and now we can also uh, select this keyframe and adjust the the number directly here so 387 and press enter and now we can uh, move the animation keyframe to this uh, to this uh, position so just uh, make sure that they have the same the same animation speed okay so now i'm going to render the timeline first so you see the uh, you see the effect better okay a few moments later Okay, so uh, I have finished uh, rendering the timeline. So let's also uh, uh, go back to the normal normal view. Uh, let's select fit here to, uh, and here's the effect that we just created with only Femora 10. Okay, let's play it. So that's look nice, right? By the way, there's some point here. Uh, we can also adjust the, the gaps. Uh, for example, at this position, uh, when the third image uh, start, uh, it start a little bit slower. So the, uh, the gaps uh, between two images is too big. Uh, we can just uh, simply uh, move the position of this image. Uh, this is the last image here. So you see here, we have the last image of this girl. And they just started from here to this position okay so I can just uh, move uh, let's straight out this one to fix this we just uh, move this uh, image to this position then we uh, we have we can fix the the, the white line here uh, let's play it so now it's perfect right and now we can export the video and we're not finished yet we need to export this video and then bring it back to Filmora and then uh, because we have a, a video then now we can add an effect and also add some text or something like that to to this video but this is just uh, my solution you don't need to do the same you can just export it to uh, whatever you want okay so uh, let's say Alice image like so example number five and go to setting and remember when you have a slideshow keep the uh, keep the frame rate at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second for smooth uh, playback because otherwise it uh, there's a little bit uh, jitter because it doesn't look like the, the, the uh, video if the for the video we we will keep it uh, 24 frames per second but this they are all the image so we're going to uh, keep it at uh, 30 30 frames uh, per second okay and then click OK and now I'm going to export this one and after that I will bring it back to Filmora okay so the export, uh, the export uh, is finished now we can find the target And uh, this is the first video we created with the split screen, the template, and snapshot and animation keyframe. Let's double click. That is not bad, right? Uh, by the way, because uh, we have the uh, at the beginning we have some uh, uh, Y background here, and at the end we have some Y background also. So uh, if we want to upload, if you want, if you want to upload to YouTube or somewhere, you need to uh, split the, this part uh, and uh, delete it. Okay, so it is very easy. Just uh, bring it into Filmora. Uh, so we go back to Filmora, and then we can uh, try and drop this video here and uh, now we can delete this one because we don't need this anymore and we can also delete this uh, this background too and this is the video right and we just try and drop it here and now back to media uh, 30 frames per second 
okay and then move this uh, move this playhead to the position where we want the, our image to start so just one more okay at this position here okay right right here okay so at this position we simply split the video and then delete this one we go to uh, repo delete uh, so this one okay and nice and go to the end also do the same uh, with the, the end of the, the video okay at the end of the video uh, this position so we are going to delete this one So it rolling out here. Finish. Okay. So at this position, we can delete. Okay. And if you have more video like this, you can just drag and drop them and put them here, and then they they will continuously play throughout the video. And remember, with the, this video, you can do something more with the uh, make a slow motion video, or fast forward to uh, to increase or reduce the speed of the rolling effect. Uh, like this and it's uh, slower uh, you want to have slower you can just uh, make a slow motion video because uh, it is 30 frames per second and if you want to uh, make slower slower image uh, rolling effect you can uh, you can export 60 frames per second video and then you can um, slow down 40 percent okay and uh, you can uh, add more effect like uh, i mentioned so go to overlay and then frame and then you can add the shadow a uh, for example on top of this uh, uh, video and you are finished so they, this is how you can create this uh, endless endless slide effect slideshow effect i'm sorry i don't know how to call it uh, in only Fimura 10 with all of your uh, all the image uh, you have on your computer and now if you are familiar with the uh, Photoshop then uh, the the work is a lot easier so if you're familiar with uh, photo Photoshop all you need to do is to create a long image a long image like this uh, for example let me give you an example uh, for example here I, I created this uh, image with Photoshop uh, let's uh, see the property and and you can see that the size the size of the image uh, here uh, for example here uh, the details so the uh, dimension you see the dimension the width is a uh, nine nine thousand zero uh, zero and nine thousand and twenty one and the high is ten eighty p so we can just drag and drop this image into Fimora and then add to two keyframe and finish for example here uh, we go back to Fimora and we'll go to folder and we can delete this one and we are going to import that that image uh, i created with photoshop into this one so uh, very very easy so we have here slide two and then select it and then click open okay so, and now we have this uh, slide two image uh, in Fimora. All, all we need to do is to drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline and then extend the duration to whatever you want maybe 15 seconds or something like that and then uh, you just select it you need to select it uh, on the timeline and then go to crop tools uh, click on crop tools and now you can uh, go to pan and zoom and now just just adjust this one for example this start uh, start point and also select uh, the ratio is 16 by 9 and adjust this end point uh, to the end of your image like this and you just finish creating a sliding image uh, effect in Fimura 10 so it is faster than the, the first option right uh, but uh, the work in photoshop will be more than in Fimora okay and here's the effect so simple right all right so that is how you can uh, create a sliding image series or something like that in Fimora 10 and in photoshop and uh, with Fimora 10 also i hope you enjoyed the tutorial so if you have any other requests just let me know in the comment section below because you know that i always love to uh, to answer uh, my subscribers requests and thank you very much for watching goodbye and see you again bye bye